Hello guys, Dan here for Dan's Tech, and in today's video guys, I'm going to be bringing you the best £1,000 giving PC build for mid-2016. As always, these are the kind of videos I make uh, as kind of a guide. I do spec out systems for you guys that say, maybe know how to build up a gaming PC, but are not showing kind of some specs to choose for an actual system. So this system is going to contain the Intel Core i7-6700K. That's a uh, four-core, eight-threaded CPU from Intel. We're also going to be grabbing the Noctua NHD 15 cooler. That's a massive air cooler, which, to be honest, that does uh, outperform some um, water coolers. It is quite a probably cost less as well, so that's the cooler we're going to be going with. And yeah, for the GPU, an MSI a GTX 980 Ti. That thing is founded on £77 and has 2,816 CUDA cores. Another thing I want to mention is that when this video probably comes out, or maybe in a few days afterwards, the GTX 1080 is going to be out, and that card is going to completely slap the ass of the 980 Ti, and it's probably going to be yeah, about £10-£20 more. So that would be the card that I would recommend, but as of now, uh, if you're watching this and the GTX NAD is not out, then I would recommend just grabbing the NAD TI or say just building a system without a GPU and just winning a few days for the 1080. Um, as you guys might know, the 1000 series from NVIDIA is such a, is such a leap in graphical performance. I don't know how NVIDIA have done it. Um, yeah, they have stepped down the manufacturing process and in general, just their GPUs in terms of performance from that new architecture, it's just, it's just, it's, it's just up here. It, it's unbelievable. So yeah, just bear that in mind. Uh, I am, I am recommending the Nano Ti today. But if the Nan, if the yeah GTX 1080 is out, that would be the card I would recommend to go to. Or fuck it, buy two if you've got that amount of money. So yeah, without further ado, let's kind of jump into the build. And yeah, let me guys show what I've chosen. So the 1000 founded gaming PC build for mid 2016. To get started for the CPU, we're going to be grabbing the i7-6700K. This chip is a quad core with 8 threads and runs at a frequency of 4GHz with a turbo frequency of 4.2GHz on power and temperatures per minute. This CPU runs on LGA-1151 socket, and with it being one of the new Skylake chips is rated at a mere 91 watts TDP. This will be plenty fast for this build and should even allow us some flexibility for upgrading the rig to say two GTX 1080s if wanted in the future. As mentioned in the intro, at this price point it makes quite a bit of sense to use a great colour, so we're going to be grabbing the Noctua NH-D15 air colour. This colour features two massive aluminium towers that both sport 140 by 150 mm fans. It also features six 6 mm copper heat pipes for effective heat dissipation. The best part about this colour is that it usually beats out a lot of the all-in-one water coolers, and for the most part is a lot quieter as well. Usually around £70, it may seem a little bit expensive for an air colour, however, when you think of the cost of many liquid coolers, it seems a bargain for the performance you get from the thing. Feel free to grab a liquid cooler if wanted. Moving on to the motherboard, we're going to be grabbing the ASUS Maximus 8 Hero. This board may seem pretty expensive, however, it's loaded with features for future proofing and as for overclocking, it's rated very, very highly. This board is a full size board and comes in at a price of £174. This board supports up to 64GB of DDR4 RAM via the four DIMM sockets, has support for many expansion options thanks to the three PCI Express x 16 slots and three x one slots, supporting quad SLI and three way crossfire. As for internal ports, you have a total of 8 SATA 6 gigabit ports, of which 2 are controlled via the Asmedia chip on board, 4 of which can also double up as 2 SATA Express ports. In addition to this, this board has support for a single M.2 drive at the bottom running at 4x speeds. As for USB connectivity, it features 6 USB 3 ports, 8 USB 2 ports, in addition to the 2 USB 3.1 ports, one type C, and the other, the standard type A connector. Moving on to the RAM for this build, I've opted to go with two 8GB sticks of Kingston HyperX Fury memory. This memory is DDR4 and runs at a speed of 2133MHz. This will work fine with the Asus motherboard chosen and is a good price, currently 5579 as for storage, we'll be picking up both an SSD and a mechanical hard drive. First up for the SSD, we'll be picking up the Samsung Founder Gig 850 Evo. This drive is rated at 140 megabytes per second read and 120 megabytes per second write. And to be honest, there's a very good price for a high performance SSD. For £107, it's a very good value for money and will definitely make your PC boot up fast and allow your system to feel incredibly snappy. As for the hard drive, we'll be picking up a standard 2TB Seagate Barracuda hard drive. Main specs include 2TB capacity, 7200 RPM spin speed and 64 megabytes of good old cash. 
Moving on to the graphic card for this build opted to go for the GTX 980 Ti. Just bear in mind what I've said in the instruction of this video regarding the GTX 1080. And now, for this GPU we'll be grabbing the 980 Ti. This dual fan MSI gaming 6G variant of the card features 6 gigs of video RAM and 2816 cores, running at a frequency of 1076 MHz with a boost of 1279. As for the outputs, this card features 3 DisplayPort connectors in addition to a single HDMI and DVI-I connector. The power requirement is 2 8-pin connectors. For 500 40 pounds this is a pretty damn good deal and will be a very solid card for ultra detail 2560 by 1440p or even 4k gaming at slightly decreased settings moving on to the case i've chosen the fractal design defan r5 this is a standard atx case and does feature a windowed version in three colors as the features and the specs first up for the fans this comes with 240 millimeter fans one set up as an intake and the other as a re exhaust with support for up to seven more as a storage this case sports room for eight conventional 3.5 inch hard drives or ssds on the main sleds. Additionally, it has two dedicated SSD mounts and room for two 5.25 inch optical disk drives, of which the optical disk drive cage can be removed altogether if not used. The front features two USB 3 and USB 2 ports in addition to the standard HD audio connectors and power and reset buttons. As to the component clearances, graphic card and power supply clearance is essentially unlimited, with a CPU clearance being a pretty average 18cm, however enough for the 16.5cm Noctua NHD 15 colour to be installed. Currently the windowed and non-windowed variant in many colours are around £85, so take your pick. Lastly onto the power supply, we'll be grabbing the Corsair RM850X 117 pounds. The RM series from Corsair is highly regarded for its gold efficiency and the fact the fan doesn't spin until you hit high power draw from the wall, making it inaudible in most scenarios. I personally do own the original RM850 and I've only witnessed the fan spin when I were playing games on the two GTX 770s I owned back in early 2015. This fully modular power supply comes with all the connectors needed for this build, including seven 4-pin Molex connectors, four PCI Express connections and eight SATA connections for hard drives slash SSDs. The total price for this build is £1,486.26. So guys, there we are, there are all the parts I chose for the £1,500 gaming PC for mid-2016. The i7-6700K and the GTX 980Ti, the MSI variant with, yeah, 2816 cores. As I mentioned, grab the 1080 or even two of them if you have the cash or whatever. But yeah, just bear that in mind that these cards are coming out very, very soon and the 980 and the 980Ti are going to kind of become redundant and ridiculously cheap, so... Maybe, maybe it's worth to actually pick up an, an older card if, if they do become that cheap, but who knows? This video has been out as a guide. I'm pretty sure if you guys are building systems, you are aware of the new uh, kind of NVIDIA architecture. But yeah, without further ado, guys, thank you very much for watching. You'll find Amazon US and UK links to all the parts in the description. And yeah, without further ado, thank you much, very much for watching. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. air cooler. This cooler features two massive aluminium, aluminium, that word puts me off, god damn it.